How's this last week been for you? <laughs> oh, it's been great. Uh, you know, been here. I guess I got, got here Friday evening, and it's been it's been great. Haven't uh, I'm kind of back and forth from the hotel to the office, and that's about it. So that's that's the way it goes right now, which is which is fine. And I, I kind of have my lists of things to, to do and prioritize because there's so, so many things to do. But the staff has been incredible, and, and coach and the support here in the building has, has been great. And I got a chance to, to meet the players, and I got a big board on my desk of faces and names. And that's my one of the first things that's so important, I think, is just to learn the guys and because uh, they, they're the engine that makes it go is the players. So I really want to uh, get to know them. How difficult is it when you're coming in late? into this process to, to kind of get a feel for what you guys have in bringing in and recruiting? Well, you know, thankfully, again, the guys here have done such a fantastic job identifying the, the right guys for the program, uh, the right guys for uh, university, for the scheme. And, and, it, and so for me, it was really just kind of, you know, get in. And I had the one home visit, and then I be, was able to talk to the, the guys that were committed, and we had great conversations. But... Uh, I think the, the staff here did a did a great job. Thanks. What percentage are you at the flashcards now? Pardon? What percentage are you getting the flashcards uh, at now? I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Yeah. So, uh, I would imagine. Give me another week, and then you could probably test me. But uh, I'm getting better and better. Yeah. I just think it's so important to learn. You know that those are the guys that are most important is the players on the team, and so it's my job as being the new guy to to spend time on that. I mean, there's a lot of things to do, but the people are most important. So I just I'm taking pride in, in learning those guys and uh, learning their names and where they're from and their background. Yeah. Uh, have you been able to talk with Dallas Gene too at all yet? Yeah, I got to, a chance to to meet Dallas and super kid and uh, really uh, did it. I mean, some of the, some of his background and the the uh, student that he is. I mean, there's just so many things, the intangibles, not, let alone the skills you see on the football field, but just the intangible things that uh, that I've learned about him are very impressive. Coach Chris mentioned that he could be in sort of a glue for kind of the newer guys and stuff. Do you see that in bringing Dallas sort of class along? Yeah. Yeah, again, I, I don't have quite the history that, that the rest of the coaches do, so Coach Chris would, would have a better idea just knowing – the dynamics of this of the uh, recruiting class, but I got a chance to meet him. Seems like a great kid, and uh, I just don't. Want, I can't sit here and act like I know the guys as well as the rest of the staff because I don't. Sure. I'm sorry if this is already out there, but uh, Randa coached inside linebackers last year. Is that yeah. going to be your role? Yeah. We're, so that'll be uh, finalized here in the short term. We're still discussing a couple uh, different possibilities and some of the dynamics, um, and so. That's a little bit to be determined, to be honest with you, but it'll be settled here in the short term. How much film have you been able to watch for the guys that are coming on this? Yes. The freshmen? Yeah, I watched them all. And uh, watched all, I've watched all their uh, kind of their high school video, and then I've got to watch, I really made it through every snap of the season, too. So I've kind of did the recruiting part, and then I did the uh, this past season as well. So it's been a, a lot of video in the last week, but that's that's what we do. And how many have you been able to talk to all of them? Uh, touch base with most of them. We traded messages, but uh, so there was, you know, the the uh, NCAA guidelines on when you call and when you can't, and then when it was open. So talked to most everybody and traded messages with a couple guys. But I had great conversations. Like I said, as soon as everything got finalized, uh, I started getting phone calls in and uh, like as on in the airports and things like that on the way out. But. Uh, had some great conversations and obviously got a lot of information from the guys on the staff who did a great job uh, putting the class together. And you know, again, I, I didn't, I didn't have a whole lot to do with that. You know, I had uh, I, my role was to come in and introduce myself to the guys in the end and answer any questions because that's uh, it's natural to have some. Do you anticipate recruiting on the West Coast, or is that not determined yet? Yeah, we'll, we'll discuss the re recruiting areas as we go forward. Um, it's really going to be what's, what's, uh, whatever is best for the program and uh, as we sit down and kind of work through things. So we'll see.